Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kum Yashallah, Kohavo, Yehawa, Bahashim Yavashai, Bahashim, Racha Hadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. They were well, they taught us this beautiful, beautiful truth. And just want to say, Thawada to our Yuakim, Achwa, as I hear sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yehawa, Bahashim Yavashai, to the best of your ability. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on this article in today. It says, Raven Simone, if there's a don't say gay bill, there shouldn't be, there should be a don't say straight bill. <laughs> so now if you're not familiar with the don't say gay bill, it's a bill that they signed into um, order down in Florida. And basically what the bill says is, um, let's just get a little bit of it. It says, Raven Simone is taking aim at a piece of legislation in Florida that critics have dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill. Okay. You know what? Because as this goes on, I just want to just, you know, I'm just going to ask a few questions on DuckDuckGo. All right. So, first off, let's ask. Does Raven Simone... Oh, well, we can ask that one, too. I wanted to ask this one, but I was going to ask this one next. But since it just popped up, let's just see what it says. It said, does Raven Simone has kids? It says, no. So, Simone does not currently have any children, although she previously admitted she wants a large family with her wife. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to keep this classy. I'm going to keep it as classy as I possibly can, because that was one of the questions that I really wanted to ask. So, you got a person that has no children. That has the absolute works, the plumbings to do the thing that makes children, you know, to make children, to be born, you know, you know, with a male and a female. She wants a large family, but she wants it with her wife. Now, overall, probably what she's going to do, because Raven Simone is pretty wealthy. I'm pretty sure she's sitting on some, quite a bit of bread. I'm sure she'll probably adopt a bunch of kids, you know. Raise them up with her wife. You know what I'm saying? But where do those kids, where would those kids actually come from? Sperm and egg, man. Sperm. So, hey, now you have scientists. Don't get me wrong, because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, they've been dillying and dallying with all kinds of stuff. You know, they always fucking with something. So, you know, they got these methods where they can, you know, it may not necessarily... Where they can just grow a damn baby. I'll put it that way. But they still need the tools to put that together. And they're not going to do it with two males. And they're not going to do it with two female hookups. So, so let's just get that out there. So first off, we know for a fact that she don't have kids. Okay. It says. Uh, and you know what? Now, now this right here says. It was a rumor. Of her being pregnant and having a daughter started over a decade ago in 2009. There were rumors of her giving birth to a baby girl named Liliana Pyramid. But there is no evidence to any of this news. And neither is there anything about the baby reveal yet. So now you have a lot of people that's out there in Hollywood. You know, I already know how the game go. That, that she was there from a baby. So ain't no telling what, the, what happened. I'm just going to keep it classy. I'm going to keep it there. Ain't no telling what happened to her. You see what I'm saying? And you have to really realize that you, you're dealing with Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which is a crafty, he, he, he's crafty. He's a, he's a cunning hunter. He knows how to trap. A part of being a cunning hunter is, is, is knowing how to, to, you know, deceive. Basically, if, you, if you're into hunting, you know, they camouflage themselves. They set up certain traps. They set up certain things. You know, they might even throw a little food out, whatever they're trying to catch. It depends. But they're cunning at it and they have it down to a science. They even know how to catch people. You see, they caught they caught us, <laughs> you know, and trapped us and enslaved us. That took cunning um, hunter skills. That's a part of Esau Edom's gift. You know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, when um, our forefather Isaac gave him his blessing, it, he gave him the blessing of the sword, which is, you know, that military might and things of that nature. And, um, you know, he, he was a cunning hunter. And like I said, you have to be really, really decept deceptive to be a cunning hunter. So saying all that to say this now. Let me go back to her. 
she could have four or five children with a fucking husband. Real talk. Living, you know, but you know, they, they place these, these, these celebrities on these pedestals to sell an image, so to speak, to send a certain vibe towards the people. She could easily be that, that whole thing that you think is her life. It may not even be her life. That's how, that's how crafty Esau is, man. You, you have to realize that you're dealing with the damn devil, man. You're dealing with the, 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 the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And they're the ones that's orchestrating things that's in highly weird. The shit that you see on the news. You see? Because you ain't going to see no news journalists on, on, on TV giving their own opinion. They're going to read off that teleprompter and you can change the channel. I don't give a fuck how many times you change that channel. All those newscasters are going to be saying the exact same script. You see? Okay, so let's go a little bit further into it. So we got that out of out of out of out of place. Because if she really don't have no children, she shouldn't even be saying anything. Nothing at all. But the question that I wanted to ask, matter of fact, let me go back. Because that, that gets me off to let me go back. Does Raven Simone live in Florida? <laughs> let's see if she even lived where she's fussing about. Some shit that wouldn't even have nothing to do with her at all. So what's her purpose in this agenda that's being pushed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not saying that she live in Florida, but I highly doubt that she do. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just put in. Let's see if we can put in what state. And I'm going to get to the scripts, man. Look at this here. Let's see. Where does her no wife live? Probably California or some shit. Hmm. She was born in Georgia. Says she made her $55 million fortune with the Cheetah Girls, Animal Crackers. That's so raven. Okay, so she's sitting on a little bit of money. Let's see if they, they go off into where she lives. I'm sure she got some properties all over the place. She's not a bad looking woman either. It's kind of really, um, really such a damn waste for her to, you know, just a waste. Anyway. It says she owns an apartment in San, San Francisco, California. Okay. So she don't even live in Florida. So what, what does this have to do with her? You see what I'm saying? Okay, so now let's go on. It says the bill signed into law this week for, by Florida, Ron DeSantos, prohibits classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity for children in kindergarten through third grade. What's so wrong with that? What's so wrong with that? You're talking to third graders about sex? We ain't going to even mention kindergartners. Third graders, man, I think in third grade, you're like eight. Now, the only reason why any of these children will pro possibly be asking about stuff like that is because of the fucking TV shows that they show. If they care so much about your children, <laughs> you see, especially Disney, oh my goodness. None of those cartoons are really for, I, I can't even name none of them that would possibly be, really be for children. Those are adult Films, man. Soft porn down there. You see? And they pushing that shit on the children. And, 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 and it's just, it's up to parents as well. Because see, these damn parents, man. Look, man. These people understand. Let me go to a quick scripture real quick. They understand this scripture right here. Don't think, I'm telling you, the so-called white man, is a, he's a cunning hunter. He, he, he fucks with everything. This guy, I just seen a, um... A TV show yesterday, it's on PBS. Well, you know, they show you about animals. And these motherfuckers had real, like, real scientists. That's, that was, their whole job was to study squirrels. And they, they studied all different types of squirrels. And they were showing that, you know, these scientists. And it was all so-called white people. I'm thinking to myself, like, well, God damn. They know how far a squirrel can jump. They know where they, how they bury nuts. What, do they remember whether or not where they bury them? I'm looking at this shit like, well, damn. You know, it was kind of... You know, I like to look at nature because the scriptures talks about looking at nature and nature will give you answers, so to speak. I think it's in the book of Job, you know. 
And also Proverbs where it talks about, you know, go to the ant, you sluggard. Because, you know, ants, they work real hard. It says they don't have a queen, you know, but they, they get their, their, their food together basically in the summer, you know. And, and, and it's, you know, you can learn from the animals, so to speak. But I was watching that and I'm looking like these motherfuckers will search out anything. So, you know, they know. They study you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans the most because they know that you're the Hebrew Israelites. Why do you think that every time you see any of this stuff going on, they always have a so-called black woman? All this shit that they push, every now and then you'll see a so-called black man, but if it's a so-called black man, he's effeminate as hell and he's more likely into that particular lifestyle. But mainly, they show our women on these shows. I don't care if it's a news show. I don't care. It, it, wherever it's at, you're going to see that microphone in that woman's face. You're not going to ask no strong heterosexual man about any of these ideas, man. They always using our woman, and that goes back to, ser to the serpent and Eve in the garden, man. But Proverbs 22 and 6 says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. See, they want to get your babies while that sponge is going on. They know that from kindergarten to eighth grade is the perfect time to indoctrinate your children with whatever the fuck they want to indoctrinate them with. You see, that's why it's so important that you know this particular scripture and that you train up your child in the way they should go at the house. Not just, you know, you feeding them and, you know, you sending the asses to the back room, to their bedroom and just allowing them to just watch all kinds of damn Disney Channel shit all day just to get rid of them. And that's a problem with a lot of our people. They try, they just get rid of the kid, give them the cell phone. You see the babies be all in the strollers looking at fucking, here you go. The baby got an iPad in their hand while they, while, while, while the, the mama's pushing the stroller and the kid is watching a bunch of bullshit. Out of all the stuff that's on YouTube, it's so many learning channels like where they can really, really say, for instance, you can sit a child. If, if you're going to do that, you can put that. If it's a girl, say, for instance, a little girl, you can put her in a she's in a stroller. And every time you, you know, you know, they sit in the back seat, the car seat, you know, and they always had a little the little phone in their hand and they're watching stuff. If you put that, put that um, a YouTube video up of doing hair or something like that, that baby will grow up and, and, and know how to do fucking hair by the time she's in a grade and be a professional at it. A professional, literally. Because they understand that children learn at a fast pace and whatever it is that they're watching, they, they sponge it in. And that goes for little boys. Say for instance, you give a little boy, you know, they already, they like to look at little trucks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, little trucks, cars, whatever, whatever. And if you get them into that and you give them the, give them the iPad while they're sitting in the stroller, they're sitting in the back of the car, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and show their asses uh, uh, how to fix a car, all kinds of mechanics. By the time that, that little boy turn eight years old, he'll be able to fucking change a starter on a car, man. Or change the oil. Do a damn tune up, man. May not be strong enough to push a jack. But understand how to change a tire. By the time they're eight years old, they can explain all that stuff, man. It don't take long. So they understand that if they can train your child that a boy can be a girl or a girl can be a boy, you think that all of America will be outraged because this shit is incredible that they're actually, that you only have these few people that are speaking out. Because what does sex have to do with your child? You can't explain sex to your children from, from, from kindergarten to um, age eight. Ain't no teacher should be even dealing with your children like that. What, what happened to the ABCs? What happened to you? You got. <laughs> they should be trying to teach these kids how to catch up to China. <laughs> but you got all this time to put into uh, what they should. Uh, sex. Are you serious? Man, these people, I'm telling you, man crazy man but let me get job 9 and 24 and this is the reason for it all really and they just had your a b c d e f g day yesterday that's all you're hearing about lately as of as of late and like i said they always using our people to promote and push that shit to go along with your black lives matter if black lives matter so much they should be promoting 
a male getting with a female and producing and having children so that our children, our lineage will go on. But they're teaching them just the opposite. But they love you so much. They teaching you if, if two if two of our so-called black men get together in our community and never have children. What's the how does that work? Two so-called black women get together and never have children. How does that work? How, how does that if, if we all got into that, wouldn't that just chop us off from being a nation of people? Common sense, man. But you got these people with your PhDs, your ABCs. They got a damn acronym on the front and the back of their name, and they just don't get it. That's just like this um, Katanji, whatever the hell her name is, Jackson Brown. They asked this lady what was a what was a female, and she 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 said she didn't fucking know. That is inc <laughs> incredible. She's about to be judging people, and she can't give you the definition of a female or a woman. But you know why she done that? It's because this right here, Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who's the wicked? The so-called white man. He's the one that's in control of the curriculum. He's the one that's in control of who's being taught what in, the, in, in elementary school, preschool, middle school, high school, junior high school, college, and so on and so forth. Military school, <laughs> Catholic, Catholic school, I don't give a shit what school you go to, the so-called white man is in control of the curriculum. I just done a lesson yesterday where it's a so-called Hispanic church. They were trying to, you know, it's a church, but they want to open up a school. You know how you, you got these churches, they got a slash, you know, K through eight. They wanted to open up a school and the state was, or whoever it was, was not allowing them to open up a school because they were going to teach that a male and female is the way that the Lord made things. They don't want them teaching that the scripture goes against this particular lifestyle. So they won't allow them to get the licenses and the permits and all this other little shit. But who's in control of that? The so-called white man. He's in control of who learns what. How many permits or how many you know, um, degrees you have to have to study or go, you know, and do whatever, whatever. It, it's them. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And I always like to bring up my, my, my favorite picture. Let me bring up my picture. Because this right here is the guy that they push on our people right here. Let's get, um, um, um. Your boy, white Jesus right here. See, now they know that the scripture describes our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Looks like more like the image on the left. But who did they give to you? This guy right here. This is who they want you to believe that is their Lord. Who is in charge of this? Who pushed and promoted this? Whose curriculum did this, this guy done push white Jesus on the world? And look how effeminate this picture looks. That's why it's no problem for you to have the LGBTQ. You, they, they got a fucking church, man. They, they got pastors. They got bishops. They got um, um, whatever um, cardinals and all this stuff and all these different organizations and churches when they know full well the scripture goes against the lifestyle. So why even deal with the Bible? But they understand that that Bible has power. And, and a lot of the times these people understand that they know deep down that it's wrong or at least the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do, because we have that spirit from Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls God and Jehovah and all these different names, but his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And this is not the God. He would look more like this, this image right here. You see? But they understand, man. Trust me when I tell you Esau Edom is a cunning hunter. They covered the faces of the judges, and that's the face that they gave you. They covered the main face, the main judge's face, Yahweh Shai, and gave you white Jesus. And that's that spirit. See, this, this, this guy right here, they give you that spirit of come as you are. The Lord loves you. He loves, loves, loves. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. The Lord knows your heart. You're okay. The Lord, 
No, instead of these pastors getting up on the podium and saying, hey, look, the Lord going to destroy you, man. The scriptures clearly says that, you know, you're going to be put to death. And it's that, that, hey, whether they hear or forbear, whether it hurt or not, he says, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and spare not. Fuck their feelings. Because if you don't tell them what's going on, then that blood is going to be on your hands. You don't want that. That's why we just come on out with it, man, straightforward. You see? And we keep it classy. Because, you know, this is a real touchy subject when it comes to the tube and trying to put up these videos, man. People get touchy. They want to report you and all kinds of... Hey, we run it with the scriptures. We just prove me wrong. You're trying to tell me that this woman, she has no children. She don't live in the state of Florida, but she's using her platform of a celebrity as a Disney celebrity to basically say that there should be a no... Um, a, 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 a no straight bill? Like, how does she get here? You see what I'm saying? They don't think that far through. And if, even if you bring that up, do you have a mother or father? Oh, well. Well, what if they didn't have sex and have you here? Oh, well, it got all these dumbass excuses. <laughs> you see? They don't have no answers for when, when, when something like that is being asked. And them parents have a right to... to you know, because even like, I remember they used to have like sexual education. I think it was around seventh grade, eighth grade, seventh grade. I mean, even that shit was weird. You know, you sit around and talk to your parents. They call it the birds and the bees. You see what I'm saying? But that was up to the parents to sit the children down. You know, when your, your children are coming into that stage, puberty. And, and what, where's the care for? Because they, they claim they care so much, but what about the parents that want grandchildren? You don't care about those parents wanting their children to grow up to produce grandchildren for them. And their family lineage is going on. What about the father's lineage? What about his line going on, man, to the uh, to next third, fourth, fifth generation, if, if so? What about that? No, they just want to, oh, we don't care. He should be able to live the way that he want, even if it means cutting off his whole entire lineage forever. See, these people are, are a fuck bunch of damn hypocrites, man. But anyway. And also, now let's, you know what? Because let me let me go off into it a little bit more because it was something else that she said. Let me see. She said, um, I'm going to say this, and this is my thing. Okay, it's your thing. Keep it to your damn self. Speak with your wife about it if it's your thing. You, you using this big ass platform to tell people about your thing. If there's a don't say gay bill, there should be a don't say straight bill. The actor whose full name is Raven Simone Christina Pierman. Oh, yeah. She and the cast of her Disney Channel sitcom Raven's Home were among the Disney stars and staffers who staged a walkout. Well, go ahead and walk the hell on out. And you know what? You're doing people a favor because Disney need to be shut the hell down. That's one wicked ass place, man. Oh, it's lucky. One wicked ass place that costs you a damn bundle to just go visit some wicked ass characters that they came up with. Okay, it says on Monday, Dis Disney issued a statement. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Raven Simone 36 said the new law could be damaging to children with parents in the LGBTQ community. It's not fair. This is what she's saying. And there are multiple kinds of humans in this world. Uh, I'm assuming she's not talking about multi multiple kinds of personalities or multiple ki kinds of um, ways of thinking. She's basically saying that there's multiple species or multiple, you know, she's going outside of the line of there's more than male and female in this planet. You see, it's lying on the Lord, man. Let's, <laughs> let's get it. Well, she ain't, she ain't say the Lord. But overall, you're lying on the Lord. It says that you are, you are ruining the psyche, the confidence of so many young children because you are disc discrediting their parents, the, 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 the people they love, the people that raised them, the people that, that teach them the manners when they walk into that, that schoolroom, she said. So if you're not going to honor their family, your family shouldn't be honored either. And that's the way she really thinks. I found my life partner. 
I found a person that makes me feel comfortable and in my skin. And she's down for the cause. I'm sure she is. <laughs> it says the couple is giving, a, a, giving fans a peek into marriage with their YouTube channel. See, there you go. And you know people going to tune in 8 p.m., which includes videos of their goofy conversations and documents moments from their daily life together from cooking to co-parent to comparing their favorite skincare products. Raven Simone said their channel gives people a rare insight into the marriage of a young couple within the LGBTQ community. <laughs> hey, Miranda kind of brought it to my attention. There are not a, a lot of people in the industry that are in our age bracket or part of the LGBT community, multiracial, talented, and want to make positive change, want to have conversations, want to make sure that, you know, if you don't agree, tell me, tell me why. Well, let me tell you why then. You see what I'm saying? Well, let me, let me just, you know, let me, let me, I'm going to go with what you about Shimmy Awashai had to say, man. Now, let's just put in male and female. Just going to put in the word male and female. And you're going to see multiple scriptures pop up. So Yahweh, this is Genesis 1 and 27. So Yahweh created man in his own image, and the image of Yahweh created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis 5 and 2, male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Genesis 6 and 19, and of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark. This is what he's telling Noah, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Now, why did he do that? Because he wanted the earth to be repopulated. And that he gave the male animal, the sperm, and the, the female. Hey, that's just how babies are born, man. Like, come on. <laughs> that's the way that it is. You're not going to get around that. You can try and do what the hell you want to do to get around it, but it's not going to work. You are not doing nothing. You're just making yourself look foolish. And you're setting yourself up for real destruction. Genesis 7 and 2, of every clean beast, this goes on to talk about the Noah's Ark, of every clean beast thou shalt take to these by seven, the male and his female, and of the beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. On and on and on. Genesis 7 and 3, of fowls, even the birds, man, also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the earth for all the earth. You hear that? To keep seed alive. Because you need seed to, 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 to have things grow. And the list just goes on and on and on. It's just going to be male and female. Let's go to the New Testament. You got um, Matthew 19 and 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? Obviously they haven't read. That he, made that, that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. Have you not read that, um, um, Raven? Mark, Mark 10 and 6, where from the beginning of the creation, Yahweh made them male and female. So you can't talk that it was just Old Testament. Here you go with some New Testament scriptures, man. Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye all, for ye are all one in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that's another story. But I just wanted to go off into male and female. Now. Let's do another little hookup. Let's put in, who knows, this may be in here. Let's put in queer. Nope, the word queer is not in the Bible. Let's put in the word um, non-binary. I wonder if it's all spelled together. But we can do, try it both ways. Nope, non-binary. Let's separate the non and binary. Nope, you're not going to see that neither. Uh, what else they got? Um, I think the word gay is there, but it's not what people think it means. Yes, yeah, in here one time in James. And ye have respect to him that, James 2 and 3, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. And basically, gay right here just more than likely means like a, a beautiful or something to that extent, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Let's see what, it's, what it means. And they have it in the Greek. Damn, they don't even, um, they don't actually have the, oh, here we go. What is it? Lampros. G2986. Let's see. 
Shining, brilliant. That's basically what it means. Clear, transparent, splendid, magnificent. Magnificent. It's like somebody showing up at the party and the nigga got on all Gucci. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you won't let the guy in. That's wearing, you know, um, shit. I don't know his regular Hanes Hanes T-shirt or hoodie or whatever the hell. You know, but that, that's what gay means in, in that particular aspect. It doesn't mean, um, um, you know. Two men together or two women together. Um, what else they got? You got your... Um, I don't even know what the hell all them damn letters mean. All I know is 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 that it talks about effeminates not going to make the chem kingdom. You know, because that goes off into basically like a male prostitute or a male prostitute that um, sells his body to another male. Then you have... Um, matter of fact, let's just go to it. Because this is where, where, where it's at, really, in the law. You know what I'm saying? Now, they say Old Testament. But they, hey, this, this is being spoken of in the New Testament. And actually, let me get it in the NLT, New Living Translation, to give a little bit more. Let me see. I'll start at verse 22, Romans 1, 22. I'm going to get the NLT side. It says, claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living power, God, Yahweh, they worship idols made to look like mere people and birds, animals, and reptiles. So Yahweh abandoned them to whatever shameful thing their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God, Yahweh, for a lie. So they worship and serve the things Yahweh created instead of the creator himself. Who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why Yahweh abandoned them to do their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. See that? It's your New Testament right here. Verse 27. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burn with their lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve since they thought it foolish to acknowledge Yahweh because that's the way they think they really think it's foolish to even acknowledge um, what, what the Lord thinks man and his word he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do the things that should never be done their lives became full of every kind of wickedness sin greed hate envy mur murder quarreling deception malicious behavior and gossip they are backstabbers, haters of God, and insolent, proud, and boastful. They invent new ways of sinning, and this, <laughs> they disobey their parents. And they invent new ways of sinning. It says they, re they refuse to understand, break their promises, are heartless, and have no mercy. And you can see she clearly said that, hey, it, 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 if, if we can't have what we want, basically, then they shouldn't be able to have what they want. It says, they know God's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die, yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Woo! And LT boy was on point with that one. But anyway, I just wanted to just bring this out. Hey, these lifestyles, man, the Lord is going to destroy you if you live in this lifestyle. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent, man. You have to come out of these lifestyles. Because if you're living these lifestyles, when he make that move and crack through them skies, hey, that all that what the Christian church, the so-called white man that told you that the Lord loves the sinner, he hates the sin, that's a complete lie, man. That's not in the scriptures. You see? That old I'm saved by grace already. No, there's work that's had to be put into um, um, being saved, so to speak. The scripture says those that endure to the end shall be saved. We're, you're not at no end. There's plenty of people out here that's biting the dust right now as I'm doing this video in car accidents, down fires, uh, shootouts, <laughs> you name it. Domestic violence, parents killing their children, children killing their parents. It's happening as we speak on a minute every single day, man. You, the Lord is sending out judgment. So you have to repent. And the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. There are no J's in Hebrew, no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. The letter J was invented in 1524 
about 500 years ago. And if the Lord walked the earth 2000 years ago, how could his name be Jesus? Impossible. <laughs> his name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer, Mashiach, the anointed one in Paleo Hebrew. And again, you repent to his to his father, our father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. You repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahawashai. And, and turn from that wicked lifestyle, man. You have to. Because other than that, you're going to be destroyed. Don't let the so-called white man that, that boarded your ass on ships like sardines brought you to this, this, this place that they stole, still holding you in, in, in captivity, and, 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 and you allow them to tell you about a lifestyle that, that'll kill, your, you, you know what I'm saying, knock off what your ancestors all went through to get you to this point in 2022. Had our ancestors been like that, none of us would even be here. <laughs> Straight up. Let them do that. If they want to do that, let them do that. Let the other nations get all off into that, man. Because if you notice, them Eastern nations, and even right now with Russia, Russia, Ukraine, Russia don't want nothing to do with the LGBTQ in their country, man. The Western countries, or, I mean, Eastern countries, they want nothing to do with the LGBTQ in their country. You know why they understand that that shit kills all their people. They know that they can't survive like that, man. Because eventually, if you go a, a, another hundred years at the pace that this shit is going on, nobody will survive. Because at the pace that this is moving at, and, 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 and the ABCDEFG crew get their hands on all the legislation like they're, they're doing, basically, it's going to be illegal for your ass to even be straight. If you had it up to her, to, she, look at, let's, get to, let's get to title again. Raven Simone, if there's a don't say gay bill, there should, there should be a don't say straight bill. And you better believe it's people that's living her lifestyle that believe exactly what she's saying. And they're going to tune in tonight at 8 p.m. on her little YouTube show to show you how her and her wife are living. And how they just can't wait to adopt your little babies. Because they're not going to produce any. You see? So, hey, you better y'all better wake up and smell the coffee, man. You got to realize who you're dealing with. You are dealing with a conniving ass person. And that person that's in the backdrop that's pushing all this is the so-called white man. Straight up. They're the ones that's writing all the laws. They're the ones that's pushing the agenda from the way, way in the back, dark, dark. You think you got all this damn trafficking going on with these kids, man. Children coming up missing. Where you think they're going? And then all of a sudden you had these police officers, they had these these once in a one time raids. Oh, we found 400 children on this. The FBI got together with the. Well, what the fuck was it? Why aren't you finding them every day? See? So, hey, keep your head on the swivel out here, man. Be circumspect. The days that we're walking in are very evil. It is high time to awake out of sleep and come out of darkness, man. Because the Lord is about to make that move. And you can see it. It's riling all up. It's only a matter of time. So, with that, and pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.